Hi friends, Enrique here. And today I'm going to show you how you can install or upgrade Windows 11 even if you don't have a TPM 2.0 or Secure Boot in your PC. This is a virtual machine on my PC and I want to show you how to do it. If you find this problem, what you have to do is to go into the search bar, type rec, and open the registry editor. Once this is open, you want to go to HKEY local machine, system, and into setup. You want to right click into the setup and create a new key. You want to name this new key lab config and press enter. Now inside of lab config, right click on it, click new, create a dword 32 bit value. You want to name the new value by pass ppm text and press enter. Do the same thing one more time, but this time you want to name it. I pass, RAM check, and at your time, bypass secure boot check. When you have all three of them, you want to right click on them, modify, and you want to set the value to one. So you have made all of these modifications, you want to close the registry editor and you want to reboot your system. After your system reboot, you're going to be able to download and install the Windows 11 Inside Preview. If this doesn't work, the other option that you can do is to go into the official Windows 11 ISO download. All the links will be on the description down below. Once you have downloaded the official ISO from Microsoft, and you run into the setup. I want to set everything right here. Click on next and install now. And as you can see, this say that this PC can run Windows 11. So what you want to do is the next. You want to press if and F10. Now type regedit. In here, you want to go into HKEY local machine system setup and inside of here you want to create a new key you want to name this lab config and inside of here you want to create a new dword bypass ppm check you want to set the value to one create a new one you want to call this one bypass RAM check. Again, set the value to one. And a new one that you want to call bypass again. Secure boot check. And once more, you want to set the value to one. Okay. You want to close this and close the command prompt. You want to click on the back button right here and now click on next. You can see you're not going to have any more problems and you're going to be able to install Windows 11 into your PC. Thanks a lot for watching my friends. I really hope this video have helped you. If you have any more questions, leave it on the comments down below. I will gladly try to help you and everything I can. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel and drop a like if you find the video useful. Once more, thanks for watching and like always, See you on the next time. Bye-bye.